Hello, my name is Dr. Sibren, and in this video I will show you how to set up the Blender Render Farm software Flamenco on Windows in just 5 minutes. Let's get started. Here you see an overview of the components that make up Flamenco. The add-on is used to submit files to the farm, one or more workers do the actual rendering work, and then the manager coordinates everything and gives us a nice web interface to work with. All of them connect to a shared storage, which contains both blend files that need to be rendered and will also receive the rendered output. Let's start there and see how to set up that shared storage. On my NAS, I already created a share called Blender. So for Flamenco, this needs to be mapped to a network drive. So right click, choose Map Network Drive, and then choose any letter that's available. I chose F for Flamenco. Here I already created some folders, uh, projects, renders, and software. Projects is where you would typically work, so this has the blend files already in there. And renders and software we'll get to later. Now let's get to download actual Flamenco. On flamenco.blender.org you'll find the download Flamenco button, and here you can download the package for your operating system. To put the file somewhere, I created a directory called Flamenco and then copy paste the files in there. Just select them, drag them over. Now all you need to do is double click on the Flamenco manager. Tell Windows that it's OK and the setup assistant should start automatically. It will ask for that shared storage, so let's give it the location. In our case it is a Flamenco, so you can just copy paste that in there. Click on Next. It shows you which blenders it found on the system, so I chose the installed one. Then you get a confirmation, and then you get the full interface of Flamenco Manager. From here, click on that URL to copy it to the clipboard, we'll need it later, and get the add-on. Now from Blender, we can install it through the normal means of installing a um, Blender add-on. Just click the Install button, find your Downloads directory, and double click on the addon.zip file. Enable the addon, and then you can hover over the manager URL, press Ctrl V to paste, and you can see that it already found the manager, including the job storage directory. Now we can open our blend file that sits on F, Flamenco, something, something. And to speed up this demo, I changed the render engine to a workbench and also lowered the resolution. Now in this same panel, be sure to set it to PNGs and then down there, fetch the job types of Flamenco, which will give you access to the simple Blender render. I set the frame range to something smaller because we don't need to render the entire video right now. And set the chunk size to 5 so that every time Blender is started to render, it will render 5 frames. Now we have to set the render output path, which I set to F Flamenco renders, and make sure that it is an absolute path. After that, you can click Submit to Flamenco, and that will give you an indication that it was actually submitted. Now back in the web interface, you can see the job is there. It consists of three render tasks, creating a preview video, and then moving everything to the final location. All that is left now is to copy the worker to the shared storage, and for that, copy the worker executable and the tools directory into F Flamenco software. That way, all the machines who want to work on the farm can run it from there, and you're sure that they have all the same version. Just double click to run, and it will automatically find Blender, and it will also find the manager. As you can see, first task of the job is active, the job itself is active as well, and the frames are already rolling in. Click on the follow task log to see a live stream of what Blender is doing. Um, and you can see that task after task is getting completed right now. By now the entire job is done. So let's take a look at what happened on the shared storage. In F render, we have rain restaurant, then the current time and date. And there we have the preview video. Of course, it's only workbench and a few frames, but I think you get the gist. And that is it, we set up a render farm in just 5 minutes. If you have any questions, drop by on Blender Chat in the Flamenco channel and I'll be there to help you. See you later.